Je suis vrai You might have surmised from some of my other videos that witches, wicked or otherwise, are the kind of things that tend to turn up in games that I DM. And part and parcel with witches come hags. I find these creatures of childhood nightmare fuel to be fantastic antagonists for D&D. Alright, starting off, what is a hag? Hags are monstrous humanoids. They have d10 hit die. They have base attack bonuses equal to their hit die. They have good reflex saves, and will saves, and dark vision out to 60 feet. Another feature that most hags will have in common with each other is their ability to use Alter Self, to appear to be something less... monstrous. I like using them to surprise the party, by appearing to be, say, a kindly innkeeper, or an old lady running an orphanage. Alright, now let's look at some specific hag varieties. I want to start with the most iconic, the green hag. Green hags are creatures of swamps and marshes. Like most hags, they have a suite of spell-like abilities, including pass without trace, tongues, water breathing, dancing lights, invisibility, and tree shape. A green hag's melee attacks cause strength damage, so that's another thing to be aware of about them. Up next, we have the most monstrous breed of hag, the anise hag. They're also known as Iron Hags, and I think that name sounds pretty cool. They tend to live in cold, marshy environments. They're large category creatures, and they have DR5, bludgeoning. Their spell-like abilities are a lot less robust. They can only do the Alter Self thing. But when that kindly stranger turns out to be a monstrous Anis Hag, well, the party will be pretty darn surprised. Now, if your party is ever short-sighted enough to get on a boat... I know you'll have plenty of things to throw at them, but you might consider using sea hags. Their special trick is horrific appearance. This requires the party to make a DC 14 fortitude save. If they fail, they'll be instantly weakened and take 1d6 strength damage. I suppose they really do put the ug in ugly. The final type of hag I want to touch on is the night hag. Night hags are unique because they're extra planar hags. Their thing is attacking creatures in their dreams. They can enter the dreams of a chaotic or evil creature and do one point of constitution damage until that creature dies. Then they will trap their soul in a soul gem of some kind and go and peddle their soul out to demons, devils, and whoever's in the soul market, I suppose. Their suite of spell-like abilities includes Magic Missile, Detect Evil, Ray of Enfeeblement, and the ability to go ethereal. Another nifty feature of hags is the fact that they can form covens. A hag coven is a group of three hags, and they gain additional spellcasting abilities. When three hags work together, they can cast spells like Animate Dead, Baleful Polymorph, Bestow Curse, Clairvoyance, or Charm Monster. Now, as the DM, if you decide your specific hag coven needs additional spell-like abilities, of course, that's up to you. Another thing hag covens might do are create magical items that the party can then loot. They're also known for creating a specific magic item called a hag's eye. This appears to be a normal semi-precious stone, but it's actually a looking glass for the hag to spy on people with. They'll typically give this to a minion of some kind to carry around with them. And that leads me to the final point I wanted to make about hags, the fact that they will tend to work with other creatures including trolls, ogres, and humanoids. Probably witches. But it's definitely also possible for hags to be in the employ of just about anything. Evil outsiders, like demons and devils, can definitely use a hag on the payroll. And I'm sure there's more than one evil duke whose advisor is in reality a hideous hag. 
All right, now I'd like to leave you with some fun inspiration to look through that'll give you ideas for your next D&D setting that involves hags. First off, start with classic fairy tales like Hansel and Gretel or Snow White. You should also think about looking at The Witches by Roald Dahl, Coraline by Neil Gaiman, the other mother is a very, very hag-like creature, then there's Dreams in the Witch House by H.P. Lovecraft. There's a lot of interesting stuff about brujas, who are Mexican witches. If you fancy something a little more Japanese, Kuche Sake Ana, or the Slip-Mouthed Woman, is a kind of a hag-like creature. And of course, don't forget the Wizard of Oz. Now, if you're interested in more character builds, class analysis, and strategy guides about D&D and Pathfinder, check out D6 Damage right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.